Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kom Yeshala, Koholo, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Bachachadash. The honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. The by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa. That's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Zachanan, the Waf, just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit and just wanted to just touch on, you know, some of these wars and rumors of wars, you know, um, stories, you know, we had to keep up with that. We have to warn the flock, you know, the scripture says to constantly watch and pray. And the things that we have to watch for are, you know, the things that Yahweh Shai spoke of, you know, just the prophecies in general. But, you know, Yahweh Shai, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus, gave us a blueprint as to what to watch out for, according to, um, you know, Matthew 24, because the disciples asked him what will, ha what will be going on in the last days. So. We're going to touch on this. Uh, I got I pulled a few news articles. This one right here is pretty interesting. You know, um, came out um, earlier. Uh, U.S. unveils additional sanctions targeting Russian Russian media, financing and elites. So, you know, they putting the pressure on. So, when you know, when you put the pressure on in certain situations, you know, this guy's not going to back down, man. You know, I, I can't see it, <laughs> you know, but um, the scriptures talks about the, the hearts of the kings are in the Lord's hand. Matter of fact, let me start with that before I get this video. I'm already in Matthew as well. well let's go to uh, Proverbs 21 and 1. Because the Lord is in control of all, everything that's going on. He's in control of the movements of these leaders, man. They, they're, they're not doing anything of, of their own. Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Yahweh, as the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. So when you see a river or you see a creek, if you've ever seen anything like that and how it splash and it's flowing one way, it's going left and right and splashing up against rocks and, you know, big wave, little wave. That's all Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. He's in control of even those things. The Lord is cold, man. Hey, you're dealing with a beautiful power, man. Our Lord is so powerful. It, it, um, words can't even explain, man. But he's in control of these men as well because the scripture says that man's going up. Man's going are of him, you know, you can't, you're not doing nothing, man, that he don't want you to do, you know, and that's the, one of the reasons why we shouldn't be worried about anything as well, because he's in control, if he wants you affected by something, you're going to be affected by it, if he don't, there's nothing that the enemy can do, man, no weapon form shall prosper, you know, so to speak, but let's go back, because this is also proof that the earth, the scripture says that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, Job 9 and 24. Let's see who the wicked is because the, the earth is being ran by these particular people and it's a race of people and it's a so-called white man whose biblical name is Esau Edom. But let's get it though. Let's see. Because they're starting to tell on each other. You know, the scriptures is bringing, coming forth. The prophecies are coming, Um, you know, coming forth and, and you can see it because they're really starting to tell the things that the that we've been prophesying all along the apostles you know um you know from apostle to heart you know just in general all all you know when the truth first started you know what i'm saying it, these things have been going on and being prophesied and now you're starting to see them right before your very eyes now so let's get some of this though now, let's see what we at with this uh let me back him up Get some volume on it. It's a lot. It says G, um, G7 leaders. Let me see if it'll play with us. I didn't want to play this particular one. G7 leaders announced new sanctions on Russia. And who you think the G7 are? Who you think they are? It's a new round of sanctions following a virtual meeting this morning. NBC's Ali Raffa is with the president, Wilmington, Delaware. Ali, uh, happy Sunday to you. So what are we learning about these new sanctions? Happy Sunday to you, Alex. Well, before President Biden's virtual closed press meeting with those G7 leaders, as well as Ukrainian President Zelensky began, a senior Biden, uh, Biden administration official announced a new tranche of sanctions by the U.S., EU, and G7 nations against Russia. He's, uh, they said that the sanctions already put in place have taken a huge toll on the country, but they said that more needs to be done. And I'm going to lay out some of these sanctions for you right now. They begin uh, today and 
meeting tomorrow, Alex. And it, uh, Americans can no longer provide accounting and management consulting services in Russia. U.S. advertising dollars and broadcasting equipment will be cut from Russia's top three TV stations. This uh, administration official says they are a major source of propaganda and disinformation. There will also be more export control over Russian military equipment and factories. 2,600 visas for select Russians will also be restricted. And the U.S. is also sanctioning executives from two large Russian banks, which had not been targeted in previous sanctions. And this official also previewed Biden's G7 meeting, saying that the leaders will likely recommit to squeezing Russia of its resources, also discussing how united the West has become despite Putin's uh, continued efforts to divide the West and topple Ukraine's democracy. And these sanctions are coming just days after Biden's most recent request for more aid for Ukraine, military aid in the form of $150 million that will be divided into 25,000 artillery rounds, counter-artillery radars, jamming and field equipment, as well as spare parts for equipment, Alex. This is just the latest aid request we saw last month. Uh, this $33 billion request from Biden to Congress made huge news. This would be in military, economic, and humanitarian aid to Ukraine. Congress has not scheduled a vote for that yet. They're still trying to figure out what the best vehicle would be to get this passed, whether it should be paired with Ukraine, uh, with COVID aid, rather, or not. So right now, we are waiting for this virtual meeting between Biden, G7 leaders, as well as President Zelensky to end. We are waiting for the White House to send us a readout of that meeting to be able to share with you, Alex. Okay, and there you have it. Now, let's go back. Uh, I wanted to of Slovakia. Uh, Cause this shit is getting out of hand, and, and, and like I said again, hey, this guy got all the um, you know, he got all this money to send to all these other countries and help out and do this, and 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 talk of how inhumane these countries are and all this other shit. But in the meanwhile, <laughs> you have a, you you have Americans that starving. You spending all this money on shit, and see the the so called white man in America. Your average ones, the ones that stormed the Capitol on January 6th, they not with this shit. <laughs> so there's a lot of division that's going on out here. But now what I wanted to pull was, um, because I wanted to actually, let me see if they're going to, if they're, because they, you know, they name off the G7 counterparts or whatever. So you, you'll get to see who these particular people are. G7, the EU, your NATO. Hey, look, these are all a part of 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 of, <laughs> of this end time prophecies man let me see if they got this in here oh yeah the g7 which consists of us britain france germany italy japan and canada all oh, these are edomites so called white people except for japan and you know japan they don't have no choice but to go with it because you know they would you know they don't want another nuclear bomb dropped on their asses. They don't want that Hiroshima again. So they're being, they're just rolling with the punches. You see, they, they don't want nothing to do with it, but they have no choice because America is forcing them to go along with all the rest of these countries, man. You see? But they're, what, what, what this is going to do, this is going to further push that president or, you know, Yahweh Bashim is in, in control of what he's going to do next. And it's just going to escalate, man. And you're moving towards, you know, um, World War Three. Now, let me see. Let's get some more on this. It says the G20, the G7, which consists of the U.S., Britain, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, and Canada, has also committed to phasing out or banning Russian Russian oil imports and vowed to work alongside the U.S. to ensure stable global energy supplies. See, they're vowing to to work alongside the U.S. See, the, the U.S. is your, is your main culprit in this shit, man. To ensure stable global energy supplies, the official said. The Biden administration banned Russian energy imports in early March. Okay, but the point that I wanted to make on that was, was or, or as you can see, these are all so-called white people nations right here. Other than, like I said, Japan, which they just have no choice, man. Japan is just a little bitty damn island out in the middle of the ocean that's strategic for, you know, the U.S. to fly off, you know, military um, jets and shit like that, man. They bombed the hell out of their asses back in the days. 
and they've been compliant with the U.S. ever since. So they basically have been um, slaves, so to speak. So they really don't have anything to do with it. But you better believe Canada, so-called white man. <laughs> Italy, so-called white man. Germany, so-called white man. France, so-called white man. Britain, and of course the U.S. All this is being ran by so-called white men. So now, let's get that scripture. Because this proves that they are the wicked. Because they run the earth. Who, who else is in power like this to, to sanction a country and, and block off everybody and, 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 and tell what can be done and what can't be done? Who's going to provide these particular services and not and all this other stuff? You can't go here. You can't go there. Who's in control of all that? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. And this right here is just more proof of Job 9 and 24, man. Let's get it. It says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. See? They're running the earth. They're the ones that's making the, the global decisions for everybody. No one is making decisions like that. You got China, you know, that's kind of, you know, got their little thing going on. But China not, you know, not not trying to deal like that with these NATO countries, man. Or, or you know, on these EU G7 countries, man. Because NATO, these are just the G7 ones. We ain't even talking about the EU and NATO. You know what I'm saying? It says, the earth is given in, into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? You see? If not, where and who is he? Who, who, that, that, the, this is a rhetorical question being asked. If they're not the wicked, then who is then? Who's running the earth? That's all you got to, when it comes down to anything. Who's distributing um, vaccines when it comes down to medicine or you, your FDA or your CIA or your FBI? Well, you're any of these damn alphabets. Who's running these alphabets, man? It's a so-called white man. And they're all over the globe fucking with people. And nobody can stop them, man. Except for the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, when the time comes, man. This is just total proof that they are the Job and 9 and 24s, man. Straight up. So let's go back, though, because like I said, again, I pulled. What else do we get? Um, no, let's go into here. And you got, um, got this nuclear war. Just going to grab a few titles. This is Newsweek. Nuclear war threat drives greater divide between U.S. and China. You see? The already tenuous relationship between the United States and China risks further deterioration following recent comments from each country regarding the threat of nuclear war. The other presents. See? And you're starting to hear a lot more, man, of the of nuclear war. See, it used to just be, oh, uh, you got little skirmishes going on over here, proxy wars going over here, you know, a little war going over there. But you never heard the words nuclear power or nuclear war being um, talked about like how you're hearing about in these last days right now, man. It says we are facing a crisis deterrence dynamic right now that we have only seen a few times in our nation's history. Richard, who is the head of the U.S. Strategic Command, said the war in Ukraine and China's nuclear trajectory, their strategic breakout demonstrates that we have a deterrence and an assurance gap based on the threat of limited nuclear employment. During the Friday press conference, China foreign minister spokesperson was asked about Richard's remarks. China follows a self defensive nuclear strategy and keeps its nuclear forces at the minimum level required to safeguard national security. We stay committed to no first use of nuclear weapons at any time and under any circumstances and undertake unequivocally and unconditionally not to use or threaten to use nuclear weapons against non-nuclear weapon states or nuclear weapon free zones. This policy remains clear and consistent. China opposes any form of, Ch of China nuclear threat theory. He further charged that the U.S. officials were trying to shift the blame to others. And that's exactly what the so-called white man does. You know, they're, 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 that's all they do. They've been doing, that's one of their main game plans, man. And this thing got old. Everybody's starting to see through it, really. It says, some individuals in the U.S. have been hyping up various versions of a so-called China nuclear threat. As known to all, the U.S. is the biggest source of nuclear threat in the world. See that? But they act as if they don't have nothing to do with it. They're just the peacekeepers of the world. They're just so, you know, so humane. Oh, we love everybody. Oh, we we, we got to go over here and help these people that are being um, so wrongfully done by their, their leaders and all this other shit. But in the meanwhile, they're the ones that's out here pulling all the, doing all the destructive stuff, man. It says the U.S. should earnestly assume its special and primary responsibilities toward nuclear disarmament. Continue to further substantiate 
substantially reduce its nuclear arsenal in a variable of irreversible and legally binding manner, he added. The U.S. should take the same nuclear policy with China to make due contributions to reducing nuclear threats and promoting nuclear disarmament. Yeah, right, man. You can forget about that one. What's going on with it? Oh, man, I ain't with none of that. Okay, yeah, so lock you had to kick it with the neighbor real quick. But, um, yeah, let's go off into this next um, uh, uh, article. A matter of fact, though, this right here was pretty interesting, too. Um, you know, we're kind of checking all this stuff. Got to be on top of all this stuff, man, so we'll know what's going on in the last days, man. It says the economy is collapsing, yet I can't recall a government so devoid of a plan. And that's what this guy is going through, you know. Um, and this is over in Britain. So, and it's going on throughout all the, um, in, in these European nations, man. But that's all designed by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and he's using the left-hand side, which is the elite, to, to pull this shit off, man. I'm telling you, we are in the last days, man. All this, all that's bubbling down is World War III and, and that, that, that digital um, reset that they're trying to do by putting that damn grain of rice in you. Now, this is another one right here that I found to be interesting as well, and I'll wrap up. I'm not going to keep it too long. It says nukes hitting Ukraine would be attacked on NATO due to radiation. See, so if Putin, you know, um, you know, uh, do, do a nuclear strike, say, in Ukraine and the wind is blowing northeast or whatever, which way that day and it blows, you know, some of that nuclear, um, you know, smoke, so, so to speak, towards, um, you know, Poland or. Uh, you know, and that's the reason why they're trying to get off into um, Poland and I think it's um, Finland or one of those. It's a t two other countries that, you know, they, they, uh, that's trying to sign or considering signing with NATO. So if that wind blows off into that area, that's considered to be an act of war, so to speak, because now, you know, you have contaminated air blowing into, you know, another country that had nothing to do with the war, so to speak. So, that you know, these people are strategic. And Esau Edom, the so-called white man, man, I, they, they pull such false flags and all kinds of other crap. You, you can't believe what they're saying, you know, overall, because and that's the reason why. Let's go back to the, the, the original story. The reason why they, they're doing these sanctions, they're doing these sanctions on these news news networks. They don't want nobody to be able to because they already done got rid of. Our, you can't hear what the Russia has to say as far as like um, what's going on over there in Ukraine. The, America is not giving you an opportunity to. You, you won't get no news from, you know, from from the Russian side to see, OK, what's going on? What what do you think? You know, what's your your um your your insight on it? No, you're only going to get what America wants you to know. And and, and that particular pop propaganda, if you go against that, you're giving out, you know, what they call misinformation. You see what I'm saying? Now, something else I just thought of by the spirit. Let's see um how many countries are a part of NATO. I think it's like 30 or so, 30 something. So basically they're surrounding this guy. I ain't even have to go all the way in. But yeah, they're surrounding this guy. And if they can get these other little countries to sign on, now they can pull in and, and set up military uh, might, you know, set up. Um, They can set up jets. They can, you know, um, you know, set up, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, nuclear weapons. If they have a waterway, they can have their submarines, you know, close to off the Russian border, so on and so forth. You see, okay, uh, see how recent this is, but most of them that I'm seeing, it says at present NATO has 30 members. In 1949, there were 12 founding members of the alliance: Belgium, Canada, Denmark, France, Iceland, Italy, Luxembourg. And, and Netherlands, Norway, Portugal. Okay, so if, as you can see, you got France, you got Italy, you got Canada. They're all a part of um, the G7 that we just named off. You see? So there, you know, you got the EU, NATO. But they, so basically it would be 30 countries and counting against Russia. So this thing is getting big, man. You see what I'm saying? And, and you know, like I said, the scripture says to watch and pray. And, and there's a lot of stuff, man, that you should be watching for and a lot of stuff that you should be praying for. Matter of fact, let's get Luke. By the spirit, let's get Luke 21. It's something I pray for every day. Because there are things that are about to start happening that you want to 
pray that you can avoid, man. If it's the Lord's will, you know what I'm saying? Um, but you're going to play your lot out no matter what. Luke 21 and 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always. See, it says pray always, not sometimes, man. You know, it, it don't mean, you know, praying you just all damn day long. All, all you're doing is praying. You know, of course, you got to, you know, do things and talk to people and go to work. And, you know, it's talking about, you know, in a sense of you should be at least praying a few times a day for these particular things, man. It's nothing to throw up a prayer and, and, and pray to Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh, yeah, please have mercy on me. How, 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 how long does it, does it take for that to come out of your mouth? A few seconds. Yahweh, please have mercy on me. Please don't remove your Holy Spirit from me. You know, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Baha Shem Yahushai, which means please, 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 in the name of the Lord, you know, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus. We call him by his original Hebrew name, which is Yahushai, which means that he's the Savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. We, we're not calling on white Jesus because white Jesus is a damn idol, man. And to you, you, you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that believe in, 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 in a white Lord. The Lord is going to destroy you, man, right along with these people that's about to catch these nukes to their face, man. And we prophesy the downfall of this, 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 we, we prophesy the downfall of Esau Edom's kingdom in general. Their G7, their NATO, their EU, and all the, um, the heathen nations, man. We pray that the Lord will speedily <laughs> send calamities up, upon them, man. Watch ye therefore and pray always. Let me get that back. Luke 21 and 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be counted worthy enough to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. You see that? That's in red letter. That means that Yahweh is speaking. You see? Pray <laughs> that ye be accounted worthy. That's something that you should be. If he told you to pray for that, you should be praying for that, man, a few times a day. Every time it comes to mind. Because there's going to be some real nasty things gonna happen man when when all this stuff goes down man especially a jacob's trouble hit man it's gonna be real rough man you see so pray to you how about shimmy i'm shy that you're accounted worthy enough to make it through those things and especially number one hey being accounted being accounted worthy enough to stand before the son of man man that's what we really want to get those crowns man you know not to be a part of the second death man so you know but since we're here, let's get uh, Matthew 24. Let's start at verse 3 right here. It says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. So the Lord is going into what the disciples is asking him about. What is going to be happening in the end? For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, or Mashiach, and shall deceive many. Hey, that's, that's, it's, it's clowns out here now talking about they the Holy Spirit and that they're uh, Jesus and all this other crap, man. There's plenty of um, knuckleheads, man, that's out in some damn woods following some, some hairy ass pink guy <laughs> talking about he's the Lord, man. Because the scripture describes the Lord as a dark, melanated man with woolly hair. The Lord is not some white guy, man. That you got to get that 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 fable that fiction, you got to get that 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 uh fictional character out of your head, man. But this is the point right here, verse six, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet, for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in divers places. And all these things, and all these are the beginning of sorrow. So this is what's happening, man. And like I said again, Job 9 and 24, it tells you the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who are all those 30, those, those 30 countries that we just named off of NATO, man? These are these are so-called white people. You don't, I don't even think it if it's an African country in there, I'd be surprised, but who knows? Maybe it is. See, 30 member states from Europe, North America, and Asia. Okay, and I'm thinking like the only Asian country, country that's in this may be Japan. Okay, let me see. Let's get the member countries. Here you go. You got Albania, 
Belgium, Bulgaria, Canada, Croatia, Czech Republic, Denmark, Estonia, France. And see, a lot of these countries are just strategic places, man. They're not really like military apt to even deal with Russia, you know, because when Trump was in office, he was going back and forth with them about why aren't the, the other countries? Why aren't y'all you not putting up as much money as we are? So really, this, these are just countries that the U.S. Are, are pretty much overall using, man. You see, to pro possibly land planes, you know, now Germany. You know, they you know, they got military and stuff, but you got France, you got Germany, you got Greece, Hungary, Iceland, Italy, Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Montenegro, Netherlands, North Macedonia, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Romania. Oh, it's a lot. Came out of it. Slovakia, okay. Who else was that? Uh You already know these are, like I said, they're, they're all um, European countries, basically, man. Washington, D.C., London. Hold on, let me see. Did I come out of something? Anyway, you get the point. You get the point. Those 30 nations and counting are all European countries, man, basically, with so-called white people. And, the, and that scripture again, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So who is in power to say, hey, we're going to sanction you. You can't go here. You can't go there. We're going to stop your ships. We're going to stop your exports, your imports. We, uh, put on a mask, roll your sleeve up. I don't give a shit what it's got to do with from driver's license to a passport to military might, a submarine or, uh, uh, or, or Navy ship or uh, air fighter, Black Hawk helicopter, nuclear bombs, you name it. All that stuff is in the hands of the so-called white man and you're not going to get around it. The scriptures clearly describes them as being the wicked, man. Straight up. You're not going to get around it, man. So, you know, hey, the, the scripture says, who will pity a charmer? Never trust thine enemy. <laughs> you see, who will pity a charmer? Matter of fact, I'll end out with that. But because you can't. And you got so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They join the military. They joined the so-called white man that demolished their people, man, during slavery. But they join them and they're proud to be Americans. They're proud to be a, 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 a part of the kidnapper. I guess, you know, you got that saying where it says, if you can't beat them, join them. Jake got that bad along with chronic Stockholm syndrome. Let's get a. Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach. I'm going to start at verse 10. Never trust thine enemy. For like his iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Though he, he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped the looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. You see that? Because see what the military do, you know, you, you, you know, they know, they know that your, your children are sitting there watching the NFL games, right? He's 17, 18, just about to leave high school. And what do they do? They throw the little military commercials on and make it look like it's Call of Duty, Black Ops, and you know, uh, 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 World at War, and all this other shit. You know, they they make now they they're doing the commercials where it looks like it's digital CGI type of hookup, and you know, it's it's appealing to the eye of the young man because it looks like a video game to him, which they've been playing for years any damn way. That's all that they do. You see, so that's crouching, that's humbling themselves, and they tell you about you know, um, you can get this GI Bill. You know, we we you know we we give college scholarships you can go to college for free off of us you could go to all these wonderful places and they they wrap it up and make it seem as if it's this this like you're going to disneyland but they what they're not telling you is is you're signing up and signing yourself over to be a perpetual slave and that you can die by working with them man they're not telling you that but see they it says that though they humble themselves and go crouching yet take good heed that's that's a commandment from yahweh by shimei was shy you're supposed to take good heed of your enemies you're never supposed to trust these people, man. It says, um, verse 12, set him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And that's what they've done to the Native American Indians, so-called Native American Indians. They came through, the so-called Native American Indians did not take heed to this particular scriptures. You know what the Lord told them, hey, <laughs> though he go crouching, you know, take good heed, man. Here you go. 
you allowed the man to come over here and then you, you you know you've done all these things for him and then they stabbed you in your fucking back now they run your country and got you on some damn reservations man it says lest he take lest he seek to take thy seat and thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith i bet you these so-called ask any of these so-called native american indians how they feel about would they would they do anything different when Columbus came or whoever the hell came, they, hey, we, we you know, probably would, would tell you, hey, we done knocked their asses off or definitely um, been aggressive enough with them to make them go ahead and get their asses back on them boats and head back to where they came from. Th verse 13 was the point that I wanted to get. Who would pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beasts? So who's going to, when the Lord has told you, don't trust this man, you trust him, you let him into your, your place, your home, your country, your just city, whatever. And then he does the, that thing thing to you. Who's going to pity you? You've been told. You've been warned. You've been warned. that This is a clear commandment right here. He says, just take good heed and beware of him. That's what you're supposed to be doing. And this goes for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Stop with the American shit. You're not Americans. These people, you're in the hands of human traffickers still to this very day but they'll tell you they're out here doing all this police work against human trafficking but you're the biggest human traffickers in the fucking in, in, in the history of man and and you have a whole nation of people in captivity still to this very day but you running around here humbling and and trying to throw around to tokens about yeah we got the so-called first black this and it mainly females these days so-called black supreme justice so-called first black press press secretary and uh, not only so-called first black but so-called openly gay like they're doing you all these damn favors man but got you on the bottom thinking that you damn americans man in the meanwhile they're human traffickers and they're gonna have to pay for the things that they've done and if you're attached with them man there, there there's a, there's a thing that's called um accessory to a crime or whatever it's called you know here you go you riding with the nigga that stole the car he got the gun that, that the drive I was done in. Oh, you going to jail with that, good man. So you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that's running around here calling yourselves American, you're going to have to, um, you, you're a part of that crime, man. And you're going to be dealt with the, <laughs> the same way that they're going to get dealt with. And this place is just doomed for nuclear fire, man. You see what I'm saying? So, hey, I just wanted to bring this out. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, repent. You are the true children of Israel. That's your true nationality. The, the so-called white man gave you blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, Latin. They gave you all these oppressive ass bywords, man, which is also in Deuteronomy chapter 28 that goes with the curses, man. Those are not your names. Those are not nationalities. And none of that shit is actually in the scriptures. We all have biblical nationalities. Esau, Edom is the so-called white man. And, and, and Yashallah or, or Israel, which means that he's the prince of the power. Yashallah in Hebrew. That's your nationality, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are Hebrew Israelites from your respective tribe. And your Lord is not some white guy. They beat that into you during slavery. You see? I'm telling you, man, the, the so-called white man done such a number on us to the point that we actually believe that we're them. We're part of their country. We're part of, we're Americans. Get the hell out of here, man, with that crap. Pray for the destruction of America. That's what we pray for. We pray for the downfall of America on a day-to-day -day basis from the Lord, man. And it's gonna happen. You better believe it. And then, like I said again, if you, you're you defending this place, you down with America, the Lord is gonna get at you too. Because the, the, the world is an enemy to the Lord. Don't the scriptures say that? And nothing is more big of an enemy than this, this Western eyes as Babylon the Great, man, that's running around out here pushing all this damn wickedness that they pushing these days. And I'm talking about they going full hardcore with the wickedness. It's all blatantly forward in your TV shows, your news. You can't get away from it. You're constantly pushing wickedness, constantly up devising wicked ass plans, man. And, and mainly they're there to tear down you damn you Israelites, man. You so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, man. Y'all better wake your asses up because we're definitely in the last days, man. And destruction is on the way for this place. So with that, pretty the lesson was edifying. Kwame Shalom.